Wait, you have signed this without prejudice. <clears throat> is that mm -hmm. your name? Without prejudice? Yeah, is it without uh, prejudice your name? 3-301. Would you like? Uh, no, understand, uh, we're not going to mess around when we come back next week for this trial. I'm all right. Come up with any kind of foolishness where you don't identify yourself. Matthew Aldridge is the defendant. I know you are Matthew Aldridge. You're going to go to trial next week. And you're going to have to be in front of a jury of 12 citizens. We're going to pick a jury. We're going to try this case. And you're, if you are found guilty, then It'll you'll go, go on to a appeals court. And, and then you'll have a right to an appeal. Yeah. But if you come in here and say that you are the attorney of fact or that you are without prejudice or whatever the situation is, you understand that, that I'm not going to put up with that kind of foolishness in front of a jury. You're going to have to represent yourself, but you're going to have to come in here and, and adhere to the rules. Do you understand that? Correct. And welcome to Facts or Frauds. The witness problem, the state has indicated that they, uh, they may be wanting to dismiss the case against Matthew Aldridge. Um, but Matthew Aldridge has not appeared in this court officially. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to understand is this. You can play this game with... Uh, trying to say that you are the attorney of fact or whatever. And if you consist or persist in doing so, the only choice I have is to issue a failure to appear warrant for Matthew Aldridge. Mm -hmm. And if you, under oath, tell me today that you are, in fact, Matthew Aldridge, then we can take steps to try to resolve this matter. So it just boils down to, if you want to stand on your procedures, then what I'm going to do is, and you refuse to identify yourself uh, as Matthew Aldridge, then I have no choice but to issue a warrant for failure to appear against Matthew Aldridge. And I'll have you step back with the officers and they'll try to identify whether or not you are or not. You cannot defeat the ends of justice uh, or the justice system by mm -hmm. simply trying to say you're not who you say you are. Uh, so may I speak? Yes, sir. Uh, that microphone by, up so we can make sure that there you go. Um, by by uh, appearing in attorney, in fact, I am protecting my Fourth Amendment right. Your Fourth Amendment right. What yes. what right under the Fourth Amendment are you asserting? I have I have the right to my own private property, and I don't have the right. I do not have to give my name. It's it's basically the Fifth Amendment, too. You're establishing evidence against yourself. And I've explained to you what what's the process is going to be today, uh, correct? I am aware. I am Matthew Aldridge, as described in the criminal complaints. I've set out. Hold on just a second. Raise your right hand and the clerk place you under oath. Okay. I do. All right. Now, are you Matthew Aldridge, the defendant in this case? I am Matthew Aldridge, as described in the criminal complaint that I sent registered mail on Thursday against the witness. I'm not sure that we have received anything. Yes, the witness. We haven't received anything. What exactly were you it's saying? It's registered mail. It will I have my tracking number. It's at home. It is registered mail. It went out Thursday from... So you're using Minnesota a Bill. government entity or a semi-government entity of the post office registered mail to send something to this court? Well, every time I've stated something on the record in the clerk's office, you've always asked, I, I haven't seen nothing in the mail. And so... I figured that's where you'd be looking for it. All right. Well, <clears throat> you have identified yourself as Matthew Aldridge, the defendant in this case. And therefore, General Sagi, General Willoughby had indicated that he was going to dismiss this case based upon uh, a witness issue that uh, the complaining witness or the main state's main witness was uh, someone who is no longer with the, the law enforcement here in this area and was not willing to return based on issues that had happened. Is that still the state's position? Double checking. All right. Yes, Judge. All right. 
Then Matthew Aldridge, now that you have identified yourself correctly as the defendant in this case, then the state is moving to dismiss the charges against you because of a witness problem. Case is dismissed. You are free to go. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you got lucky then. And thanks once again for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. You're subscribed and ring that bell. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And a major thank you to all of our Facts or Frauds channel members. Wanishi, thank you. If you'd like to become a member, just hit that join button right next to subscribe or click on the link in the description. Now, if you're still hanging out, thank you. I appreciate you all. Why not hit that thumbs up button, make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, and leave a comment in the comment section Tell me what you think. Till next time, I'll see you soon.